On June 8th and 9th, Bandicton College hosted Alumni Reunion Weekend, an opportunity for alumni to visit campus and enjoy the company of longtime friends. Friday night, the class of 1962 celebrated their 50-year reunion, a significant milestone in the Benedictine community. After dinner, they told stories and reminisced about their time at St. Benedict's and Mount St. Scholastica. This is really kind of a, a neat story for my wife and I. Uh, I came here to a dance. Uh, it was the first dance of the fall. And uh, the last 15 minutes, I asked Mary Kay to dance. And we did. And we both went home and told our roommates that we just found our spouse forever. Afterwards, a live band entertained alumni from all classes outside of the Farrell Academic Center. The next day, several classes gathered under the alumni tent to look through old yearbooks and catch up with classmates. Saturday afternoon included the traditional ice cream social at Mount St. Scholastica and later the wine tasting on the fourth floor of the Farrell Academic Center. That night, at the alumni banquet, Joanne Henningsen received the Offer Amos Medal, and her late husband, John Henningsen, was honored with the Kansas Monk Award. Their son, Tim, accepted the award on behalf of his father. I'm really grateful to be part of this Benedictine family. Whether our in introduction to the Benedictine family spirit was through Mount St. Scholastica College, St. Benedict's College, or Benedictine College, we all are the recipients of a legacy that dates back 15, almost 1,500 years. We're all extraordinary members having personally experienced this legacy and living it this weekend. Both Joanne and Tim, also a Benedictine graduate, spoke of how the Benedictine College community touched so many lives. The other thing that's really key, I think, is John would want you to remember one thing about this honor, this gathering, this weekend and that is what it means to be part of a community. Very important to John and to all of his family. The large crowd in attendance was a testament to that common experience across the generations of the school's alumni.